Hey, we're talking about Richard Ryan and Edward Desi and what they know about motivation. So one of the most fascinating things about self-determination theory is that extrinsic rewards can undermine intrinsic motivation. This is one of the most interesting findings that comes up again and again ever since they published this research. If you've had this happen to you, you're doing really well with something. You're enjoying something for the fun of doing it. You have found this thing that is just fun for who knows what the reason is. You're enjoying it you're excited about the process, it's fun. And someone comes along and gives you a compliment or gives you a lot of attention for the thing that you're enjoying doing and it immediately changes the whole vibe. The Death Star will be completed on schedule. You've done well, Lord Vader. And with some people, it can just immediately end it. I've seen this with students where they're doing something, they're having fun with it, and I come over and I'm like, wow, what were you thinking about when you made this? And it kind of just ruins the play aspect of it. It ruins the immediacy because if you're too much in your own head when you're trying something or you're testing out an idea, it kind of loses that spontaneity. So they notice this with either extrinsic rewards but also punishments and things like that. If you're doing something because someone else is telling you or because you have to, there's a short period of time where that works, but long-term, that doesn't work for people. It just is unsustainable. Talk about how to keep yourself motivated and not undermine your own motivation. To get that intrinsic motivation started and going, and not mess with it. It's a simple and straightforward way of thinking about motivation. And I have no doubt that if you measured the amount of a person's motivation, you could predict the amount of that person's behavior. But I've never believed that the amount of behavior was the most important thing. What I think is the important thing, actually, is the quality of behavior, not the quantity. And you can't get to that by looking at the quantity of motivation. It's one of the most difficult things to do. Everybody's motivated by different things. What Edward Desi and Richard Ryan found out was if you measure these three things, autonomy, competence, and relatedness, autonomy being personal choice, competence being the level of difficulty, but being able to complete the things that are asked of you and being part of a team or a community, then you could start to see that if one of those things was off, motivation was severely affected.